Hello my SOC universe and welcome to the review of the German speaking leaks that we are talking about in my SOC universe. My hair is getting crazy and crazier. I'm shooting this night at halftime of Milan Napoli but I will post a whole lot later because I need a rest and be in the morning. I will be busy so it will come out around lunchtime. I would assume that's when you are watching it if you're watching it first. What can I tell you about headlines happening in Austria and Germany? I think in both, I uh, have, have, have to say the big results up top are not as great as everything that's happening below the top place seat. We have in Germany, I think the race for the last top four spot is really, really hot at that moment. We have the relegation race really tightened up now with this week. We had, uh, especially with Bielefeld playing twice, Bremen playing twice, uh, was a whole lot of stuff shifting around. Um, in Austria, the race for the last few playoff spots also took an amazing turn uh, today as well. And yeah, also the relegation battle is not that hot yet because there's still a whole lot to be played um, and it is very, very tight, but yeah. That's definitely the big one there. Uh, we also, of course, had the one head, head headless ever the big clash in Germany uh, ended in a draw between Leipzig and Frankfurt, which actually means the Bayern, who had a very convincing win over Bremen, moving up top. And I'm wearing Lask. Lask won the upper Austrian derby. So that's always something to be happy about. Let's jump in. Uh, let's see how it will be a shorter video or not. During the midweek at Bielefeld against Bremen, a makeup game that was because of snowstorms uh, in early February uh, postponed. First half, not much to talk about. Right after half, Bremen turned, turned it on and got the win. Sarge in the 47th and then Möwald after uh, De Medina for Bielefeld was sent off with that red card. Basically, the game went uh, only one way, which at this point did not uh, cause any changes in the table. However, Bremen could really put a little bit of distance between themselves and the relegation spots and suddenly they were 0% for being relegated. So they are looking kind of safe at that moment. Bielefeld is a little bit of more trouble right there. However, that was just a little prelude. First of all, the crazy Friday evening game. And at this time I saw a lot of the German league, I have to say, crazy Friday evening game. Gladbach completely dominating the game. First half, miss, uh, Stindl misses a penalty. Uh, Augsburg had three shots on goal and all three went in. All three went in. Vargas, Richter, Hahn. I mean, when Neuhaus in the 68th made it 1-1, you thought, yes, Gladbach is getting on a roll now. Finally, they can exercise the demons. Nothing like that. They run into a counter and they run into another one. And it is a 3-1 win for Augsburg, putting more trouble on Gladbach, who have, I think, lost six or seven in a row. They even moved down here in the expected standings, and I don't even have much of the top teams up there. That tells you how bad Gladbach is at that uh, stage. If there were fans, probably Marco Rosa would be gone, but I couldn't understand that they don't want to get rid of him just yet. Uh, what else do we have? We have with Mainz against Freiburg. This was uh, a relegation battle, which was always a little bit more on the uh, Mainz side. Um, and they get very, very late the winner when uh, Kweissen just basically does it off in front of the goalkeeper. Uh, but not a, a pretty match to watch o overall. Union against Köln was all Union, really all Union. They should have been up by two at the half. But a late penalty, justified penalty, foul on Hector, gives uh, Kern a penalty and they take the lead. However, just after the half, they give up another a really stupid penalty. There was no need to go in like that. Kruse, who always converts, uh, makes it 2, uh, may, may makes it 1-1. One, one. And then Captain Clemens Trimmer, who has not had any goal in the Bundesliga, Austrian guy, um, Scores the winner in the 67th, then a little bit danger coming from Köln, who had been rather poor up until that point, but it was not to be, and Union gets a very, very deserved win. Union having won all their games against Köln so far in the Bundesliga. As I said, Werder against Bayern, I think for 15 minutes, rather even affair, and then Bayern turned it on. I mean, uh, Lewandowski could have had three or four. I think he hit at least twice the woodwork. So uh, it is Thomas Müller who is actually very instrumental. The first goal through Goretzka, he kind of gives it with the head a little chip. 
uh, that it falls onto Goretzka's head, who can head headed in. And then a wonderful move, the way he takes and down the ball with his chest and with uh, puts it with the foot with his feet uh, in one fluid motion to Gnabry, who then converts it to one, he, uh, two nil. He could have uh, pulled the ball to Leo Lewandowski, was just amazing. As this was a really a goal mwah, right out there. And then it continued, Lewandowski, after I think he hit for the second or third time uh, the woodwork, he gets his goal again. He was free there and he just had to tap it in. But Bremen, who did not play badly, it's just Bayern played so much, so much better. Um, they get their goal through Füllkrug, and I think this was all that they deserved in that one. Um, Schalke completely shot themselves in the foot. Uh, solid performance for most of the first half, except as Godran Mustafi and Kolasinic. You know, the guys, not that they came from Arsenal, the big boys, but also uh, that were very instrumental in getting rid of the uh, coach uh, girls. Mustafi first doesn't clear pro pro properly and then he tries to save the ball and uh, head it out and head it directly into the net. But there was no danger from Wolfsburg whatsoever coming. Absolute uh, horrendous goal uh, to, to concede. And right after that when um, Weghorst makes it 2-0, um, everything broke loose and Schalke fell apart and it ends 5-0 with uh, Riedle Baku, Brekalo and uh, Philipp adding on to Toto Tele and really at this moment Schalke is a dead one. I mean there was Didi Hamann on the highlights show said baby basically what they're showing is a disgrace to the Schalke name. Um, they cannot even do the easiest thing in soccer is fight, 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 be organized and at least give us some fight because this is what Schalke stands for. They don't even stand for that. So really really bad performance. Dortmund Hertha, yeah First half, great save uh, from uh, Jarstein in the, in the Hertha goal, but to be honest, he was the deciding factor fact in that game in many ways, because the goal by Brandt, who takes a straight shot, and yes, it takes a slight, a little bit of a weird swerve, but you have to put your body behind it and save it. This was a horrible, horrible, horrible goal to, to concede, which sent Dortmund straight on their way. Hertha, I think in the first half, hung quite well in there, but in the second half, they got. They didn't get anything going offensively, and when the reader uh, gets sent off for tripping, it was all, only going one way, and the Mukoko lay lay down a goal of the will, more or less, uh, gives Dortmund a Tony lead that was fully deserved. Fortunately, I didn't see anything of Leverkusen against Bielefeld, but that ended one two. That's. I mean, Leverkusen is another team that's hugely into trouble, uh, but. Two months ago, we thought they might be even be challenging for a title, at least for Champions League, but nothing like that. Peter Bosch probably gets fired by, by the end of the season. Uh, we also don't know if uh, Nagelsmann will continue for Leipzig. Um, you know, not talking about much about that now. Leipzig against Frankfurt, I think the first half they were mostly the dominant team, but uh, except for an offset goal, didn't produce anything in terms of goals. Then they come out of the... Um, uh, half, 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 half time to break and score immediately. The 46 through Emil Forsberg. Uh, and that gives uh, Leipzig a really overall deserved lead. But it was always first half, 50 minutes, really good. Then the game flattens and Frankfurt gets into the game. And they then get really into the game in the second half uh, and get an equalizer through Kamada. They probably could have even won it later on. But there were then chances on both sides. Both one wanted to go for, for the win. And I think the way Frankfurt will see it, yeah, we survived at Leipzig. Napoli just scored. That's for the next Serie A re uh, review there. So they probably are happy that they will get a point out of there and kind of get points in a very difficult territory. And then lay down Stuttgart beats Hoffenheim 2-0. Which means now that we have in the table actually not that many movements. Dortmund goes ahead of Lever Leverkusen is now in touch with Frankfurt uh, right there so it gets tight 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 Wolfsburg actually looks rather safe and Leipzig is falling a little bit behind Bayern um, Stuttgart gets ahead of Freiburg in the middle but then on the bottom we have now Augsburg and Bremen kind of get themselves out of trouble however we have Köln, Bielefeld, Hertha, Mainz all within a point of each other that's 
is not gonna that's gonna take uh until the end of the season until we know who goes down schalke of course is more or less down uh if you look at the expected stance standings, it tells also kind of, kind of kind of the story we have this race for the final two champions exposed of all of us will really look safe so it's frankfurt and dortmund frankfurt give at the moment slice like much but leverkusen also in there and then for the seventh spot it's really really uh, Hoffenheim has pro 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 images because they're all within three expected points. Augsburg, Bremen safe, the rest, <laughs> that's really, 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 really tight. Next uh, week, what do we have? Um, Bayern playing a Stuttgart, that, that's a classic live, live, Leipzig at Bielefeld. I don't put it beyond Bielefeld uh, to get something out of there. Uh, Bremen, Wolfsburg uh, is the other, Köln, Dortmund. I mean, that was a game, I, I remember that, that Köln won in, in Dortmund, but that Köln at home is really, really, really bad. We have uh, a game between Hertha and Leverkusen, which I think looks really like one made for uh, nail biting and, you know, lots of ner ner nervousness right there. So yeah, uh, interesting games. In, interesting. There's not one that really sticks out, but there are a lot of, in the overall, overall picture, interesting games. In Austria, Blask, very easy win um, against Ried. They were dominant, however, in the 16th minute, uh, penalties given for Ried, but how fortunate Schlager saves and then the uh, defense can keep it out. And then, Finally, the, the, dom the dominance is put in, into goals with Arena scoring two goals on each side of the half. And then Trauner with a header, who actually has played at one point for Reed. Trauner with a header makes it 3 0. Very easy win for Lask. Um, of the other remarkable results, I mean, Hartberg in trouble uh, because they lost 4 0 to Rapid, but Rapid then also has, has to play against Tirol. Next round, as we'll see. Austria win has no chance anymore because they lose to Sturm Graz. They needed to get at least a point to stay in there. A red card in the second half in the 57th basically put the game in favor of Sturm, who needed until the 85th fifth to get a goal. However, just two minutes later, Austria win can equalize and then deep in the stoppage time. Sturm Graz again score a win at deep in the stoppage time. It's not the first time that they do this this season uh, and put Austria out of the contention for the playoff spot. And then Tirol with an absolute crazy, crazy, crazy game. After two minutes, within two minutes, Wolfsburg had taken a 1 0 lead. Within 50 minutes, it was 2 1 Tirol. At the halftime, it was 3 1. They make it 5 1. And you know, this is a Wolfsburg team that well, performed really well in the Europa League. It's generally considered one of the top three, four, five, four teams in Austria. But they have completely gone south because there was this whole bust up between coach and team and the coach stepped down and since then they are in free fall again. Oh. I have to give it to them, they put two goals back in the 68 and the 86, but it's a little bit too late. And so um, in Austria we have now in the regular season st 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 standings one round to round to go, everything is pretty much clear, but it is still between Wolfsburg, Tirol and Hartberg who can get this last playoff spot. At least at the moment Hartberg is on the outside looking in. However, it's not that uh, clear cut because, as I said, Tirol has to go to Rapid, and I think Hartberg has an easier game there on the bottom. Alter and Reed are switching play. Reed is also a team that is into trouble and should actually be because they overall have a quite good school squad. But again, they are changing coaches like crazy, and that is never a good uh, way. Expected standings, it's all about uh, who will finish in the uh, top six. Baby, basically, you see it here once graphically nice, nice, nice done, but now expected finals, expected final standings a little bit more in, in interesting because Salzburg, of course, are the big favorites. Rapid Lask, second place, that is the duel that we can look forward to uh, in uh, spring. Not so looking forward because they have not been doing all that well against uh, Rab Rapid, my guys. And then also, Rally relegation. There are four teams. St. Burton is really taking a nose dive. They started well this season. Since then, they're taking an absolute nose dive. But it's still Admira who is very much favored to go down. As I said, the last round we have the biggest game in Austria. You will have between the two, arguably two best best teams, although they're not one, one and two in the table. Last game against Salzburg is a no show because it's played on Saturday because there's nothing to do with the rest of the table. And it really doesn't say much because you know after the regular season the points could have so whether Austria uh, whether South Salzburg gets a point more or so really that doesn't matter that much. Um, 
for the three teams that go up, Hartberg at home to St. Pölten is probably a win, I would say, at the moment. Wolfsburg needs to get something at Austria, who probably have nothing to play for in Tirol, needs to get a win against Rapid. So yeah, we will see how it goes. So let, let me know what you thought about the, what happened in the Bundesliga, whether you saw anything. Let me know in the comments below, give me a thumbs up, enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!